How's it going, everybody? Matt Borey here from the American Casino Guide book and the Jackpot Gents. And today I'm busting some slot machine myths. The myth I'm going to bust today is that slot machines can't possibly be random if they have a set payback percentage. And that is incorrect. You know, every game in the casino has a payback percentage programmed into it based on the rules of the game. So to give an example of this, I'm going to start out with roulette, right? So say you're on a double zero roulette uh, table, right? The game is programmed with 38 possible results, right? Mm -hmm. On the wheel, there's the numbers one through 36, and then there's a zero and a double zero. So 36 plus those two zeros makes 38 numbers, right? And it comes up randomly because the dealer spins the ball, spins the wheel, you know, and wherever that ball lands, all the little, uh, where every bounce of that ball makes it random, right? And if you're betting on a single number, you're paid at 35 to 1 odds. Uh, and that's a bit less than the true odds of any number coming up, which is 37 to 1. 37 to 1 is the same as 38 for 1. That's why that might sound a little different there. And that's where you get that house edge of 5.26% on roulette, right? And a house edge of 5.26% is the same as saying that that game has a payback percentage of 94.74%. And, you know, you look at that, you see it's random, you see the ball bouncing, you see the wheel spinning, right? So every one of those spins is random, but there's nothing from keeping the same number coming up two, three, four times in a row, you know? It is possible that that could happen. It's not very likely, but it is possible, you know? And the same thing can happen on a slot machine. So the way slot machines work is in the most basic and simple terms, a slot machine is just a computer that is programmed to pay out less money than it takes in. You know, that's where the casino edge comes from. And it's all based on a little chip in that computer called a random number generator or an RNG, right? You know, so a good example of this is say I have a giant tub, right? A giant tub, it's got a thousand marbles in it. 900 of the marbles are red and a hundred of the marbles are white. You know, as long as I'm stirring that up before every spin, spin, you know, when I pick a ball, it's going to be random. Even though it's random and I'm spinning it uh, before every pick, you know, I still have a 90% chance of picking a red ball and a 10% chance of picking a white ball. You know, a slot machine works the same way, really. Just think of the red balls as a winning combination and think of the white balls or marbles as a losing combination, you know. So the chances of you winning every time you played this slot machine with the marbles is 90%, you know. So that is how it works. There's a, That game has a 90% payback, you know. No matter what, as long as you're putting the marbles back in after every pick, you're going to have a 90% chance of winning and a 10% chance of losing, you know. The RNG in the slot machine works the exact same way, but just on a much, much bigger scale, you know. Since it's a uh, microchip, it can hold a lot more numbers in it and co possible combinations than a tub of balls or marbles can, you know. So, but instead of there only being a thousand different combinations, like in the example I just gave with the marbles, there are millions of different possible combinations in that RNG. But the payback percentage is, uh, you know, that comes out based on the number of uh, winning and losing combinations that are programmed into that RNG. And, you know, Say that the machine you're playing has a million dollar uh, uh, limit, you know, or top jackpot. Or for example, let's use this one over my shoulder. This had a grand jackpot of $13,815.53, you know. So the odds of you uh, getting that are there's going to be a lot more losing combinations programmed into that machine and maybe one or a handful, a small handful of combinations to get that grand jackpot right here, you know? So that's really all that happens. And even if you hit this grand jackpot, now, mind you, it's a progressive. It, it was going, this is a steel shot here, but it was going up as people played it, you know? So if I were to hit that $13,815 jackpot, 
theoretically, I could do that on the next spin. You know, the odds are not very likely that that's going to happen since there's probably millions of losing combinations in one or two uh, possible combinations to hit that grand jackpot. But once it resets, probably down to $10,000, I would guess, after I hit it the first time, theoretically, I could hit it again on the very next spin. And another thing people will say is, oh, you know, if that slot machine it has a set payback percentage, if it pays out that jackpot, it's got to go on a cold streak to make up for it to get back to that um that 95 percent or well if it's a penny slot machine it's probably going to be around 87 to 89 percent you know but as an example here we're going to do some math here right so say i'm playing a uh dollar slot machine right and it has a three coin max bet and the top jackpot is ten thousand coins or ten thousand dollars right so imagine that program uh, that slot machine is programmed to pay back 95% in the long run, right? I sit down at that machine, the very first spin, I hit it and I hit that $10,000 jackpot, right? How low do you think the payback is going to have to be on the next 999,999 spins to have a 95% payback over a million spins? A lot of people, you know, you hear people say, oh, slot machines are set to pay back 25%. If a slot machine was set to pay back 25%, nobody would play them. It would be absolutely not an enjoyable experience at all, you know. Slot machines are made for entertainment. The casinos know this. You have to win every once in a while or nobody would play them. They would be so boring. If a slot machine was set to pay back 25%, you'd go like hundreds of spins without winning anything. But anyways, back to our example here, right? So say I win $10,000 on the first spin. In order for it to have a 95% payback over a million spins on the next 999,999 spins, all they would have to do is drop it to 94.7% to get it to that 95%. You know, so it's a minuscule, minuscule amount to, to adjust the uh, payback percentage over long periods of time, like a million spins, right? So say that I hit that $10,000 spin on the first spin, right? That $10,000 jackpot. If the payback percentage stayed at 95% on the dot for those next over 999,000 spins, you know, just to get to a million spins, if it stayed at 95%, you know what the payback on that slot machine would be? After my $10,000 jackpot on the first spin, it would only be 95.3%, you know? So it's, even though, yes, a $10,000 jackpot is very good, you know, it if it stays at 95%, that's a 0.3% difference over a million spins. It's almost nothing. And these payback percentages that they talk about that are, these uh, slot machines are programmed to pay back, that is over tens of millions of spins. That's over the lifetime of the slot machine. You know, if you watch any of our videos, one of the things I love to say is anything can happen in the short run, but you know, in the long run, if you're playing a game with a house edge, you will lose. You know, people win on slot machines all the time and they and then they leave uh and they leave the casino for the day up money. You know, if everybody lost on a slot machine, again, nobody would play them because there needs to be some entertainment value there. And the casinos know this. So, you know, that is really when it comes down to it, you know, that really just explains why, how slot machines can still be random while having a set payback percentage. So let me know what you think about that down in the comments. Nice, real simple video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we put out all sorts of content for all sorts of casino games, slots, video poker, blackjack, craps, roulette, and all the card games like three card poker, ultimate Texas, hold Mississippi stud, you name it. We got videos about it. So take it easy, everybody, and best wishes for good luck in the casino.